Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This is uh, Andy's Hype Train. Choo choo on the things I love. And we're going to 73. Super 73, my favorite little toy here I got. Um, this is the third take. I've done this video three times now, and this is it. We're not gonna do any more. Basically, uh, I've been riding this out the last couple weekends. Just now I went out, but it's so windy out, I recorded. Even with the lavalier, the audio just doesn't work. So we're gonna do this here in the uh, the crazy chaotic art studio. So just suck it up and deal with it. Um, this is three months. I've had the Super 73 three months. I've driven it 600 miles, which is about you know 200 a month. How bad is that? I don't know. You know, you spend almost three grand on something. You want it to last a long time. At this rate, and I ride it about every other day. I used to ride every day, but you know, I'm kind of tempering down my riding. Um, you know, you want this thing, you want the engine or the, the motor, you want the battery to last for years and years. We just don't know. We just don't know how long it goes. But uh, so far, the first 600 miles have been wonderful, no problems. Now, we got a bunch of questions, and I want to give you an update on what's going on with me as far as this bike. The first three months have been a beaut wonderful um, the stock seat is perfect you don't need this but if you get this you'll never go back so that's the caveat if you got a hundred two hundred bucks to get the, the seat I say go for it if you don't don't worry about it because I rode the stock seat for six weeks and it was great it wasn't until I sat on this mama that I wanted to keep this so that's the way that goes people keep asking me about a couple things first off let me just say this this is the v2 motor okay now the v3 now the v3s are getting sent out right now and those are different uh, the way you can tell the easiest way to tell is uh there's a serial number here and you can look up the serial number and if it says 206 then that is a v2 if it says 207 or 208 then it is a v3 the other way to know if you, what kind of motor you got is this part here you see this little space here well, this is a V2. A V3, this whole section will be, comes up. So it's thicker. This whole unit goes up closer here. So because this is thin, then this is a V2. V3s are thicker. So um, that's another way you can tell what this is. I get a lot of questions about two things specifically. One is the ammo box. How do you connect the ammo box? Okay. It's super simple. There are literally are built-in screw positions on this bike for different like little accessories to put in over here, okay? So this bottom has three screws that holes that are ready to go. So because this is plastic, use a little drill, drill drill through the plastic and then screw it in tight with the bolt. That's it. Super simple. Super simple. So this is easy. The other question people keep asking about are these saddlebags. You cannot buy these at a store. These you buy on Etsy or eBay, okay? They're, they're from India, they're 35 bucks. You can tell this is the green interior, guys. It's like goat leather. Um, that's where you get them. You gotta go to Etsy or eBay for these guys. I love them. I have to say, I like these saddlebags a lot. How do you connect them? Everyone's asking me, how do you connect them? You connect them by, uh, I just used this little bar I got at Home Depot. Again, there are these hole positions on the bike and I just screwed it on there and rope it in, not rope it in, but just tie it up. And then I use some bungee cords here too so it doesn't drag on the tire. That's it. So that's the saddlebags, that's the ammo box. Important, the most important thing I think is the rear mirror and the phone mount. You gotta get that freaking phone mount. You gotta, have, because of that app. I don't even use the app, honestly. I don't use the app much at all. But if you want to use the app, you got to have fun. Um, that's it, man. I love this little speaker. I love having an outdoor speaker. You don't need a fancy Bose. The, the Beats Pill and the JBL one are fine. Um, and I just use the holder, the cup holder, the actual Super 73 cup holder, because it's like 25 bucks. A little more pricey than I wanted to, but I said screw it. Uh, use the cup holder. To put this guy in that holder will fit both of those the pill and the uh, JBL I think the speakers are important because you don't really want to use headphones I feel like um, it's too dangerous on the road 
The other thing people are asking me about is, this is a street bike. It's really not a dirt bike at all. You, I've taken it on some minor trails. I'm here in Ventura, which is right north of Los Angeles. So I'm just right between Los Angeles and Santa Barbara. Uh, there are a couple trails around here. I think this works really good on hard sand, like sand that's been pressed down by the water. It's fun on that. You have to clean it up a bit, but that's fun. But dirt trails, it's just, if you want to do that kind of dirt biking type stuff, you got to get the, the RX or the uh, R, or get a Saron or something like that. Honestly, this is a street bike, and it's perfect for that. I'm going 31 miles an hour, max, 32. Um, sometimes I do want to push it to 35. I wish it could go maybe 35. I don't need to go farther than that, but I am kind of acclimatized to alchemate, was it, is it acclimatized? Acclimatized, right? Uh, to the 30, and it'd be nice to go a little bit faster. But that's a really nitpick, I mean, it's fine. I will me I'll mention this. When you're looking at your power, battery level, because I've taken it down to the bottom, um, that last 15 to 10% of your battery, you're not going fast at all, you're going slow. So you're in like PS, PAS 4 and you're going like 15, 10, 9. So uh, just to note, the top half is a lot faster than the bottom half as far as like top speed and performance. Uh, just to know that on your long trip back home, you're going to be crawling a bit. Um, it's fun. The tires are super fat. I actually wouldn't mind if the tires were a little thinner. Uh, there are times, honestly, where I wish I would have got a the Cross Current, which is the juiced bike that does more, it's more of a bicycle bicycle, a little, little speedier. It's got a long distance. It's more of a bicycle. This thing, you really don't get an exercise. You don't really get exercise. You don't really get real pedaling. Um, if you want that, honestly, you should get like one of those juiced bikes, one of those like proper like electric bikes that are bicycles. This is to tootle around and cruise in and that kind of thing. That's my experience. I mean, that's three months so far. That's what I'm saying. It's not really for an exercise, which is a bummer because that means I got to bust out my other bike for like real pedaling. If I want to like get a little bit of a workout or something like that, then I got to use that because this ain't going to do it. It just isn't. Um, what else? That's it. Headlights great. I mean, honestly, it's been a wonderful freaking experience. Um, I've loved it. And uh, I just hope that everything stays like this for many more months to go. You just never know when something might uh, crash on me. But so far, so good. I'm a huge fan of this freaking bike. As you know, I'm the brand ambassador. Okay, so check it out. Now, you might notice this channel is the hype machine. So I'm just talking about stuff that I'm into. So when you see these videos about the Oculus, or about sound equipment, you know, uh, it's because that's what I'm into. So, uh, but I know everyone likes the Super 73 and that's where everyone's here. So uh, that's what we're doing. So that's it for me. We'll do more. Um, I do try to record myself tootling around, but uh, it's a little challenge because it's the sound issue. I've got, you know, I got my GoPro footage, but with the sound, I got to put some overlay music or something. And I love to talk through it. Okay, thanks guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time.